Hi everyone, and welcome to the Getting Started with 51 workshop. I'm Jacob, and today we're gonna to go through an overview, installation, basic concepts, and a hands-on exploration of 51 itself. Whether you're a beginner to the field, or you have a decade of experience working in machine learning and computer vision, you've undoubtedly come across the fact that data is the essential component of machine learning, and bad data is the villain of machine learning. Bad data can affect everything from your model bias to reduction in performance, and when in production, bad data can even cause and lead to lethal physical danger. Now, building a high quality data set and curating that data, finding underperforming sections, finding edge cases can feel like a daunting or Sisyphean task. But 51, gives you the tools to handle that. 51 gives you the tools to make that task tractable. Before we go into the details of how 51 works, what it is, and how it can make your life easier, I just want to show you a few examples. Here, we see an example where there are a few cats in the dataset, and you can select those cats and search by similarity to find other cats in the dataset. Now, what if you don't even have an image that you want to search with similarity to, but you know how to describe what you want via text, via natural language. Well, you can do that too. In 51, you can search by text similarity to the images and find images that match that particular description. Here, we are searching for animals and we're finding animals in our dataset. And recently, we made it even easier to get started with 51 with Voxel GPT. Now, Voxel GPT is an assistant that will help you to understand your data, to filter your data, and to learn about the 51 documentation. In this example here, we are looking for high confidence false positive predictions. And you don't even need to know the syntax for doing that. Just ask Voxel GPT and it will write the code for you and evaluate it to show you the high confidence false positive predictions in your data set. Today's workshop is going to be structured as followed. First, we'll do some quick housekeeping. Then we'll do an overview, what 51 is, the 51 app, how it all works. Then we'll do installation and environments. We'll talk about how to get set up for success. We'll follow that up with some basic concepts. What are the structures and concepts that underlie the 51 query language and allow you to better understand and filter your data? And then we'll do a hands-on exploration where you will write Python code and explore 51 yourself. We'll conclude with next steps. We'll give you some resources that will help you to progress on your journey with 51. Some quick housekeeping. My name is Jacob, and I'm a machine learning engineer and developer evangelist at Voxel 51. Now, who is Voxel 51? Voxel 51 are the creators and lead maintainers of the open source 51 toolkit for computer vision and machine learning. What is a voxel? Well, a voxel is the volume element in the space-time volume of a video. It is to a video as a pixel is to an image. And what's the 51? That's a great question. You'll have to find out yourself. Now, who is this workshop for? This workshop is for data scientists, data engineers, machine learning engineers, and computer vision practitioners who want to use the 51 toolset to solve their computer vision data problems. This is a hands-on introduction to 51. It is not an introduction to Python or machine learning. If you need to brush up on those topics first, I suggest you do so.